And for more on the biggest sports story of the day, we bring in Rob Ninkovich, one of Tom Brady's old teammates, now our teammate here at ESPN. He spent eight years playing with Tom in New England. All right, Rob, first things first, I think I'm going to ask every guest we have this question. Your initial reaction when you heard the news, the retirement coming after 22 glorious seasons. Well, I was actually snow blowing uh, two feet of snow in New England, so uh, I was a little chilly. I had some icicles coming off my beard. I wasn't surprised. Um, you know, I think I was one of the, the guys a few weeks ago that had said that if Tom decided to walk away at this point, that it wouldn't be shocking. Um, a 44-year-old quarterback who really hasn't played at that le level ever in the history of the game to walk away on his own two feet, I actually celebrated. I think that that's probably the best thing to do. Um, you know, football's a rough sport. You have to put a lot into it. It's mentally exhausting. We all know it's physically challenging, um, especially at that age. So I think Tom walking away on his own two feet on his on his own terms. That's probably the best way um, to go out. And there's only three ways to leave that game. Um, it's their way. It's your way or it's injured. And I'm happy that he's able to do it his way. Indeed. Last thing for you. Having this insight, having played with him, the unique relationship you have. Give me your best Tom Brady story. Well, I got a bunch of them. I mean, I think when you play with somebody for eight years, initially, um, there is a little bit of shock that you're playing with Tom Brady. I mean, look, when I was um, going into college, he was winning a Super Bowl for the first time. So in 2001, I was in high school, um, just to, to kind of show you how young I am and how old he is, and he's still <laughs> playing. So, um, you know, again, I, I think that it, initially it's a little bit of, Okay, that's Tom Brady. Okay. Um, I, I think the first interaction that we had was 2009. He was coming into the building. I had just got to the team and you know, only been there about a week. And he walked past me and it was Tom Brady. You're kind of like, whoa, that's Tom Brady. He walked past me and said, hey, Rob, how you doing? I said, whoa, he knows, he knows my name. He knew my name. Like, oh my <laughs> gosh, he knows my name. Um, but then from that point on, I mean, um, I was blessed with being a captain, so having captain's meetings with Tom, uh, one, one story that I've told a few times, um, I'm sitting next to him in captain's meeting, and I said, hey, Tom, that's a really cool watch, man. I, I like it. He had an awesome tag on, tag here. Um, really cool watch, kind of before an Apple watch. It was like a, a, a computerized, like futuristic watch. Um, I said, that's cool. Do you, do you have anybody that I could, you know, you got a guy that I can call? He looked at me and goes, do I got a guy? Of course I got a guy. <laughs> so um, that next week, I had a box in my locker, and it was that watch. Just the, that's the kind of guy that he is, you know. Um, just he's humble. He's uh, caring. He's got a huge heart. Um, and, it, you know, it, it reflects on how he was raised. His parents are just tremendous people, and Tom's one of the best – that I've ever been around. So um, just happy to have spent a lot of time with him and, you know, happy that he's doing what he wants to do. Mm, on his own terms. Sounds like the ultimate teammate certainly was the ultimate competitor and the best player this league has seen in its over 100 years of existence. In the last two years, we lose Breeze, Roethlisberger, and Brady. The old legends are walking away, but the young guns in this league are ready to go. Rob, thanks for taking a trip down memory lane with us. Thanks, guys. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.